Hi there friends, welcome to Civil Engineering. My name is uh, Elvis. Today we'll be looking on foundation setting out plan and marking out of pillars on uh, foundation setting out. Here guys, uh, before we continue, guys, before we continue, do not forget to subscribe. You like, share also guys, do not forget to also hit on the notification bell to always have the latest uh, future videos. Guys, uh, from this setting out, this is the foundation plan. This is exactly how the foundation plan looks like. And these are the footings. We have nine footings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine footings. And from this foundation footings, we have the marking out uh, of, a, of, of footings on the side. We have the marking out of footings. We have nine footings as it is in the plan. And these are the center to center, which is the axis to axis line, because when marking out of, when marking out the foot, uh, the footings on the side, we always use but the center to center or axis to axis dimensions. Here are all our axis to axis dimension. So when we finish, we so we will use this using our axis to axis dimensions. Guys, before we begin, you see uh, this. Uh, this is our plot. Like for example, the dimension of our house is 885 by 8 meters. But from our uh, 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 side, we have to nail our pegs. As it is 8 meter 85, we, we have to nail at least 10 meters. And again, 10 meters from this side to have at least 50 centimeters away from our excavation. And again, same as this side. And before we continue, this is the pegs. These are the pegs that are firm into the ground. And these are profile belts that have been nailed at the corner of at the corners of the pegs. So these pegs are firmly into the ground to hold this profile belt when we nail, because these are nails that we nail and we tie our lines like this. So these pegs have to be firm into the ground so that when we Tie our lines, it shouldn't shake. So, guys, these are the axis to axis line that you are seeing that they are blue like this. And uh, on all these dots, you are seeing all these dots, you are seeing they are at the center of the footings. So, this are the at the center of the footings. And from the center, you see, this is the center. From the center, we have the footing is 100 centimeter all square which is one meter all square so from the center guys you mark 50 centimeters away from this side and again from this size 50 centimeter same as also this side guys so 50 50 50 and 50 which is one meter all square which is 100 this one it is 100 then this is the axis to axis axis to axis line or center line and we have the foundation line. This is the foundation line you are seeing, guys. This is the foundation line, which is 20 centimeters foundation line. Then this is the excavation line, at least 60 to 70 centimeters, so that when you are when you excavate and you are working inside, the ground should should not be disturbing you when you are building inside. So, from the excavation, this is also the excavation of the footing, which is 100 by 100 which is one meter or square so the same procedure that you have done here it is the same thing that you are going to do with all these pillars with all these footings but and when you finish with your foundation i told you that these are profile boards these are uh, pegs and these are nails because when without nails you cannot tie this line because these are lines this first this middle line it is the axis and this this is the foundation and again this last is the excavation and from the excavation we we mark the footing from the center of our line from this line and again from this other line we have the center and then we mark our footing following the dimension that is given from the plan i hope you have really enjoyed this uh, video because this is a g plus one floor and when you finish with your foundation, when you finish with everything, with the setting out, you have to 
use uh, uh, you have to tie this line from this angle to this angle and again from this angle to this angle so when you tie this one you measure the dimension from this angle to this angle you make sure it is equal to this one so when it is equal to this one it shows that it is correct and you nail and and all these nails and either nail 70 or nail 80 so these are the nails that you nail and then you tie your lines tie lines they are at least nail 70 or 80 guys thanks for watching and please do not forget to subscribe guys you also like share and also hit on the notification bell to always have the future videos thanks for watching and see you in my next videos